Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Stardrop here. We're back for another episode of Kingdom Hearts 2. It's technically Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, but for the intents and purposes of this guide, I'm just going to refer to it as Kingdom Hearts 2. Uh, last time we began the guide and um, did a little bit of intro stuff. And when I say a little bit, it literally is just a little bit because the intro does drag on for quite a while. But the exciting thing is we can finally, finally visit the menu now, which means we can also make this camera x-axis into reverse. Uh, even though the standard is the reverse in this game, but... Oh yeah, that feels a lot better. Okay. Hold on. Actually? Yeah, yeah that does feel a lot better. The y-axis is fine. You know what, now that <laughs> I played for a while on the um, reverse, it feels kind of weird, but I'm sure I'll get used to it again. Alright, so, we gotta make some money. Let's apply some, some work. Okay, so there's three jobs we can do. I think we can unlock more by doing these first. Oh, that's right, um, there's some more in the other side of the town. But the quickest way to make money is by doing mail delivery, or if you're not good at this, you can do... Um, cargo climb. I'll just show off all of these just to show you guys what it's like but you only need 200 money to advance in this part. Uh, if you get over I think it was 1200 you get an extra AP or something like that it's it's just not worth it you have to you have to grind for way too long I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through that so let's just do the mail delivery let's see if I remember how to do this. So you're on a skateboard and you gotta kind of just, you know, jump and press uh, triangle whenever there's one of these so clearly I don't remember how to do it, but whenever there's a person or a bird, you gotta press triangle on it, and you will actually deliver a letter to that thing. And you need to deliver 5 in total, if you can get it under 20 seconds, you get 50 gold, otherwise you get 30 and or 10 if you, you know, spend too long. Uh, let's see if I can get that 50. Um, Slowly remembering the sequence. I used to be able to do this in like eight, nine seconds. It's crazy. Let's try it again. Last time. If I can't get it, I can't get it. But the sequence to follow is basically uh, this kid, this bird, this dude, jump onto the ledge. Oh, I failed. <laughs> that bird, but I can still get it under 20 seconds. There you go. This lady, done. Okay, that's that. 50 gold in our pocket. Let's go on to the next game. We're going to have to come back and do all of this again later on, I believe, for trophies. So, yeah. <laughs> Remember this moment, because we'll be revisiting it. Cargo climb. Um, basically, you're pushing a big garbage truck up the hill. I have no idea why, but <laughs> that's what we're doing. Yeah, I tried to do three hit combos. I like to jump while doing it because your attacks are faster. Yeah. Sometimes it lifts the, the big cart up a little bit. You just gotta be careful not to get hit by it. And basically just hit into the garage. Okay. I think if you get it under 30 seconds, um, it's 50 gold. Reasonably easy. Alright, next up, Grand Stander. Alright, sorry about that guys. My recording messed up for a second there, so I had to restart that section. But uh, we're in Grand Stander, and basically it's bouncing a ball around to keep the crowd entertained. Um, oh, oh. <laughs> you have five tr tries to not let it hit the ground, which I just did twice. Uh, it's fairly straightforward if you can just get your final hit through, it, it actually bounces pretty high. And obviously this crowd is easily amused, so it doesn't take much. Whoops. I think if you can keep it in the air for 20 hits, you get 50 gold. And I'm sucking at this, like totally. Yeah. So much for that, but 20 hits in the air to get 50 gold. I'm not going to do that one again, that one is actually too slow. We got 15 hits, so 30 money. Not terrible, uh, but we almost have our 200 limit. It's pointless to collect any amount of money between 200 and like 1100. 
uh, you get the same thing either way. But if you do go over 1200 gold or money, you get a little bonus of 1 AP. Which is a, <laughs> just a huge waste of time in my opinion. Alright, so there's another help wanted board here with another 3 jobs. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and show these. Why not? We're going to have to come back and visit them again later anyways. This one is Poster Boy, and it's one of the longer taking ones. They do give you a bit of uh, extra money for doing this, but it's still not worth it. Alright, so... Roxas can defy the force of gravity by doing double jumps. But then the again, so can Sora. Yeah, triple jump. Okay. See if I can remember the sequence. You will have to come back and do this poster mission again um, in a very specific sequence later on in order to make the time limit. Uh, yeah. I think for this one we get, what was that, 100 money? Uh, if we complete under 90 seconds. I'm not sure if I can do it, but we'll see. Because I'm just totally going at random here. When there's obviously a an ideal sequence you can follow. <laughs> All right, 18 out of 20, so just two more right there. What is what is he posting onto the wall? Struggle, fight. Oh, it's that same poster from before. <laughs> there we go. 75 seconds. Not too bad. All right, 100 gold for completing it under 90 seconds. Awesome. Next up, we've already met our limit of 200, but I just want to finish all of these little mini games before I move on. All right, this one is called Bumble Buster. Bumble Buster. So I gotta hit these, and obviously this gets a lot easier once we get more like um, skills or passive abilities. Oh boy. It helps to press R1 to lock on, so you know where the enemies are. Okay. Come back here, you. You know if you swung that thing <laughs> next to a hive of bees, you'd probably die from the stings. Ah. Alright, that wasn't perfect, but it was 30 gold. I don't remember um, what it takes to get 50. Probably less than 20 seconds. I don't I don't even remember what I got in that one. Okay, junk sweep. Okay, this one is kinda like um cool. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. So you hit blocks into other blocks. Um, I think you might uh, you need to get it under 9 swings to get the 50. Yeah, so that one was just passable as he says. 30 gold. But that's fine, let's go meet our favorite dude at that station. Okay, so how much do we collect anyways? Uh, let's just open the menu here. 470. We had 150 to begin with, so that was 320. Not too bad. Hainer is his name. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you. Still don't know what the, um, the Dog Street guy is called. Dog Street, because, you know, that's what's written on his shirt. Not a name I just made up on the spot. No, no. Okay, Hainer. Quite an unusual name, but I'll take it. Nah, I've earned enough. Let's move on. All present and accounted for, what do we've got? Just this. Nice work, everyone. Added to what we started with, we now have... Ta-da! 5,000 money! 
Sweet! Let's get tickets. We can't be together forever, so we better make the time we do have something to remember. Huh? Gotcha! So there's 5,000 money in here. I earned 320. That means they earned like 3,100. Wow. Hard workers, those two. Hmm. By the way, it doesn't matter. Oh, sorry. Huh? Uh huh? Huh? What? Roxas! Three minutes! Okay. Well, that was mysterious. I was just saying that it doesn't matter how much money you get, you always get a 5,000 uh, money bag. Four students. Roxas, the money. Wait. No. Huh? He took it. Where are you going? Remember when I fell? I had the money before that. I bet that guy took it. Guy? He couldn't have gotten too far. What are you talking about? There was no guy. Huh? But he... There wasn't? Really? Oh, boy. There wasn't anyone... there? He sounds so shocked. There wasn't anyone there? He appeared for like two seconds and just disappeared. Alright, this is everyone's favorite clock tower to sit by. Extremely dangerous, may I add, but... Seems fun. It's melting. Sorry. Cheer up already. That was definitely weird, though. Strange. You said it. Can you feel Sora? Can you feel Sora? Restoration at 28%. Namine. Hurry. Okay, mysterious scene. Is it really three. that hard to make a beach? 20. We'd be giving the enemy another entry point. And this? We can always buy some sea salt ice cream. <laughs> Objects from that town must be kept out of the real world. You can delete that. No! It's our hard-earned money! As the key-bearer, you must already know. One must not meddle in the affairs of other worlds. So many places I want to see. I know I'll get there someday. Thus, I do hereby dub the Junior Heroes. Hey, what do you mean, Junior Heroes? You rookies still don't understand what it takes to be a true hero. I... I wish for your freedom, Genie. Ow! Ow! Sally, why didn't I listen to you? Don't feel bad, Jack. We'll come up with another plan for Halloween. Next time, we'll do it together. Moshu! Or are you too cool to play them now that you have the Keyblade? Riku? W what are you doing here? Did you find her? I still can't believe it. I really flew. Wait till I tell Kai- I wonder if she'll believe me. Probably not. I'm searching too. For your light? 
Don't lose sight of it. Sora! Where are you going? I'm gonna go look for my friends. They're waiting for me. Well, where are Donald and Goofy? Instead of worrying about them, you should be asking about her. Wow, that just that scene just made me really nostalgic. It's, it, it's been a while since Kingdom Hearts One. It's been a while since Kingdom Hearts Two, but I'm playing that right now, so. All right. Third day. Yes. Moving along. That was nominee, by the way. They kind of go over what who she is in Chain of Memories, but not really. She's like this mysterious girl who draws a lot. Me to the station. Today's the day we hit the beach and don't sweat about the money. Okay. So I'm just gonna quickly save up. Doesn't hurt to make multiple save files. Zero money. Oh. Oh man, that's right. I feel sorry for those people who did grind a bunch of money at that uh, at those jobs. Dude takes it all away. Too bad. Too bad. Okay. So where where did it say we had to meet? Um, no, not here. Yeah, station. Station's this way. I would like to go on the skateboard, but I, I find it kind of dumb that whenever you exit a map and go into the next area, you automatically dismount the skateboard. Uh, it just makes it kind of pointless. It's a lot faster, yeah, but you're gonna have to go back hey. on. Morning. Should you just say morning? Huh? So is evening or twilight in this town. Hello, Roxas. Uh, hi. And you are. I wanted to meet you at least once. Me? Yes, you. Olette dragged me along to go shopping. Hey, you want to come with us? Um, uh, wait. Did you just see that? He's stalling. Very well, then. We'll see you later, Roxas. Okay? Y yeah. Did she go to that haunted mansion? How can you possibly know that? Oh, I know. There's only one thing in that direction. Okay. So here's one thing I don't understand about the city. Well, there's plenty of things I don't understand. Like, why is it always twilight time? Well, one of the things is, why is there a huge gaping hole huh? on the side? Why? And then that leads into a forest. There's a lot of things I can question. Oh boy. We have these Slenderman things again. Let me go!
Hey, chicken wuss. Seriously? Chicken wuss? Oh I don't know, but they've already crossed the line. Find a weapon. All right, pick up my staff here. And uh, once again, we won't be able to hit this guy. But we can dodge his attacks, right? Huh. Miss me. <laughs> yeah. Oh. How are the others doing? They're just standing there. Okay. Can this end sometime soon? There we go. Alright, so sorry guys, my recording got cut up again. Hmm. Gotta get that fixed, but anyways. Uh, it was just a cutscene and we're still here, so let's keep going. Not good. face of fear, all powers can awaken, including being teleported to a mysterious room where there's, like, a guy on the floor. Obviously Sora and, um, and other folks. Okay. So in front of us here we have a sword, a staff, and a shield. I won't make uh, a, a fast decision like I did last time. So this is where the decision actually will matter. Um, based on what you choose here, you will gain uh, uh, different abilities at different levels. You'll... I don't know if you gain different stats. Uh, I think... Um, no, you don't gain different stats. You still gain the same stats. No matter what you choose here, you get one plus one magic. And... Um, uh, the decision is not as pivotal as in Kingdom Hearts 1, where if you didn't have Leaf Bracer for the um, hardest difficulty, it's just completely... Uh, insane and difficult to go through. Here, you get all the skills no matter what you choose as long as you hit max level, which we're gonna do anyways. So, um, by choosing the staff, you'll get magic skills, uh, magic abilities, I, I guess I can say. Uh, quicker sword gets you physical abilities quicker and the shield gets you defensive abilities quicker. I personally prefer the shield because um, you get a lot of nice uh, Nice abilities very early on in the game that can uh, benefit you. The sword is not bad as well, so it's kind of a 50-50. For this playthrough, I'm going to go with a shield. Um, we get we get good stuff. <laughs> Let's just say that. I think for my very first playthrough of, of the game, I went with sword. It was really nice. Like You get abilities at a really good pace. But I think um, this time I'm just going to go with a shield, see what it's like. Um, get those defensive abilities quicker, you know? <laughs> okay. So, is protection really important? Yes, it is. Receive the power of the guardian. Yeah. So, it's plus one magic, again, no matter what you choose. Which is kind of not intuitive, but it's okay. Stacking up on that magic. And obviously, just as the first Kingdom Hearts game, um, Basic attack or regular attacking with the Keyblade is more powerful than magic, but in this game, magic is a bit more significant, so it's not too bad. Alright, so we met up with these guys again. What does the game call them? Oh my goodness. Take quite a bit to go. Maybe I can do a finisher here, yeah. The finisher obviously is a little bit more powerful than the, um, the first two attacks, but if you use it, you risk getting hit by these guys, like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, I can't wait till I learn draw. These money balls are so hard to pick up. And there we go, we get aerial recovery, which is 
ironic because it's one of the most useful abilities in this game and you get it so early on. It's no dodge roll, but what can I say? So it's saying he gets to level up if you kill enemies, you know, that's intuitive all RPGs. And the chest magically spawns out of nowhere. Okay, so use the reaction command, which is triangle. Why can't they just say use triangle to open the chest? And it's telling you that you can use items by um, scrolling down the bottom left menu there. And you can also assign different items to um, L1 plus X instead of just X. Be careful. Beyond that door lies a complete different world. But don't be afraid. Don't stop walking. Like my, like my voice acting there. <laughs> From now on, when HP hits zero, it's game over. Make sure to restore HP and, uh, when HP gets low. Yeah, obviously. All right, so we're gonna quickly save up here. Uh, before we do that, can I? Can I actually? Yeah, I'm going to go into my abilities. It's teaching you how. Oh, yeah, the item auto load, which is kind of useful. When you use a potion, uh, another potion automatically enters your item slot when battle ends. So. I still don't understand why you can't just use potions um, out of your stock and not just on your character. I guess it's not make the game too easy, but... <laughs> potions should not heal that much, that's what I'm saying. How much does it heal? Like 40% of your HP? Yeah, 40%. Quite a bit, okay. So, the damage control is the ability we get from our Keyblade. Um, it has our damage when our HP goes very low. And aerial recovery is amazing. When you get knocked down, you can um, quickly regain balance by pressing circle while you're in midair. There's another ability similar to this later on. That's like a counter attack, but it's too slow, and um, this one is just better. Okay, so we're pretty much running out of time in this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed once again. I'm going to quickly save up my game. Um, do create like more than one save file just in case you mess up somewhere. Uh, that's what I'm doing because I can't guarantee, you know, that nothing's going to happen. So once in a while, I may have to revisit a previous save file. I might not have to go through with that, but you never know, right? Better safe than sorry. Um, yeah, so do create multiple save files, maybe up to five, up to ten if you're kind of insecure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, more save files, always better. It's not like it takes much um, hard drive space. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching this episode of Kingdom Hearts 2. We'll see you guys next time.